Pratip is saying my experience says awareness fuses out most things. But here awareness is alongside it. Delusion in awareness. Probably you mean awareness dissolves everything. It reduces everything to nothing. You mean something like this. Probably. But that is not true. That is not true. <laughs> you see, if you get intense awareness, all the illusions should be destroyed, including the body and the world and everything and the people. But never happens. What is the, what is the job of the awareness is to illuminate that which is already present. It does not destroy anything. It does not create anything. What is the definition of awareness in our program? Knowledge that I am the witness. Knowledge that all experiences are illusion. This much only. Now you are saying that this knowledge dissolves most things. No, it illuminates all things. Most things, if you can say, you can say like this, it illuminates them. Then the mind or your intellect detects the unnecessary. Let us say you are quarreling in your, you know, in your mind with somebody. You know, somebody said something bad to you. Now there is a fight going on in your mind. Now suddenly you get the awareness, which happens only by grace, isn't it? And you see that you observe that suddenly this all drama stops. I was so stupid what I was thinking like this. There will be final thought like this and then peace. So has the awareness done this? No, it does not. The intellect detects that totally unnecessary activity was happening and the intellect stops it. So if your intellect says that, look, these smells and these things should go away, then they will go away. But this is not being caused by the intellect, obviously. The fight in the mind was caused by the intellect. It was, it became impure. It lost its track, went off track somewhere. It was doing that which is totally unnecessary, useless. Now, this uh, matter of smells and all, they are produced by some deeper layers where the intellect cannot reach right now, at least for you. So, they will continue with the awareness. Now, if you want the proof of this thing, go to the dream again. Dream is very, you can say, demonstrative thing. It demonstrates everything nicely, even though that's totally useless. So, in the dream, if there is awareness, the dream does not dissolve. Sometimes it will, but if you maintain the balance, if you maintain the dream by not getting too much excited, then the dream continues in full awareness where you fully know it is a dream. Who is generating the dream? Or what is generating the dream? Not who. What is generating the dream? There is some activity going on, the dreaming activity, you can say. We say the causal body is generating the dream. Not really true, but let us assume, okay? The causal body generates the waking state, the causal body generates the, generates the dreaming state. And it, it goes on. Yes, the dream is not, not only present, it is not destroyed, it becomes more real. Plus there is more control over the dream. Because software only, isn't it? Change this, change that. No hardware present there, like the waking state. So, it is fully in control. That is the thing about awareness. I, actually, I mentioned this thing in our videos, or I don't know where, that uh, the paradox is, we think that the awareness will clean up everything, but no, it does not. It actually makes everything more real. In sa same thing in the projected states. The worlds become real, you become real, your body will become solid, like this body. If the awareness is great, if the intensity of awareness is too much, this will. This is the possibility. Otherwise, it is cloudy, wavy and watery. No meaningful experience will be there in projected state or dream state. Fleeting images, that's all there will be. But more awareness, you put, you know, like in the occult language we say, inject more awareness or invoke more awareness. It is said by shouting, I want clarity. And this is the occult method. When you are in the dream, you get little awareness, you can increase it by demanding it. I don't know who can do it, but you know, sometimes it is successful. I want more clarity. I want to see. And then, you know, it is shown in complete awareness. The misunderstanding here is that awareness does something. No, no, no. The chitta or the memory does everything. Awareness illuminates it. And if the memory decides to dissolve, then it dissolves. And we witness it as usual. You see everything is solved now. 
so enjoy your illusion nothing wrong do not act on it and the problem is acting on the illusion you see the the exact uh, the exact thing is like that let's say uh, this body is semi stable memory and uh, previously let's say thoughts are replaced by awareness but let's say coming to the topic of smell the smell uh, of uh, of an object it is it it just quickly comes and goes as soon as as the object is taken away the smell goes now um now in in awareness uh, this uh, this smell should also you know sh- uh, should not uh, should not continue like uh, how the thoughts are replaced uh, by awareness uh, so uh, this is the point uh, i i i wanted to make that uh, smell is very semi stable then uh, in awareness uh, it is uh, just continuous having a fragrance of it fragrance of it yes it is possible now why is the awareness not removing the smell and just like just like just like i said you know it is not doing anything it is illuminating but why is the mind not removing the smell because there is nobody to remove it even your intellect which is thinking please this smell should go away no there is nobody it is because of some reason and when this when this reason is over it will be gone it is like the pain in the body you say oh i just this is simply semi stable uh, vibration pain i am aware of it now i am in awareness it is an illusion now you think a thought that okay let this pain go away i don't want it it is unnecessary pain will it go away no it is being produced by some other layer some other function in the memory and when the reason is gone for the pain the, the part of the body is healed it recovers that the pain goes away it's very easy actually what is happening is you know you the intellect has no access to that layer which is producing the effect simply thinking about it will not do it and now we enter the deeper occult here then how do these people heal how do they cure and so on and that is the d- deeper topic it is the power of intention not more awareness this is a different ability to stop the uh, patterns from happening or not happening and awareness is a different ability awareness means simply illuminating what is happening and this manipulation is based on the intention or the will right now it seems the will is over will to smell is overpowering the will to stop because it has such a deep impact on you it has some association with the emotions and so on so probably it wants to hold on to it so that is why it is happening and there are more delusional people like this you know they keep hearing voices in their mind and the voices are not outside but it looks like totally appears that the person is convinced that i heard this other person talk in the other room when they go there there is nobody so what has happened is there is a distortion somewhere which is creating this drama this illusion it is just like a small dream in the waking state there is a damage there is fault in the working although we are nobody to say it is a fault <laughs> it is all nature only but it is interrupting the normal life and then it needs to be cured if it is not causing any kind of trouble then it is normal it's okay yes it is possible to have control over all the layers it is possible including the physical you can change things in the world also and that is the occult powers we are talking about the occult powers it cannot be done by intellect cannot be done as yes, the intellect can stop the thoughts and because its own process is it it can stop the imagination also its own process but that which is being done at the layer of let us say physical matter or the layer of the body or let us say emotions and so on sometimes the intellect can stop the emotions also is very close to it it can stop the desires from acting on the desires and so on but some things are beyond the reach of an human normal human so what is the key here is to evolve spiritually prativ is asking can you touch upon reversing intentions etc see once there is an intention and what once it is it is rolled out like the train has left the station now it will produce fruits it will keep producing the fruits according to what was done this is our direct experience this is what happens now if you want to reverse it no the smell is not coming as as an intention due to the intention it is coming because of some other 
reasons nobody will intend something like this you know so but you can reverse it by holding another intention and once the first effects they will be minimized the effects of the first intention will be minimized and uh, this intention will play so whether you will be successful or not depends on your spiritual evolution not anybody can do it it's not possible for everybody to do it those who are evolved those who have reached these layers those who can command these layers they can do whatever they want usually they do not stay here on this in this physical reality physical plane they are gone dev yoni <laughs> like a child you see the child plays with a toy he is curious plays 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 then he opens it one day takes the screw driver opens it and when the, all the electronics and springs and gears are out loses interest now he wants a bigger toy a better toy which he cannot open which amuses him even more which is more mysterious than the first one the first one is gone lost lost is um, appeal in the curiosity is no more there so it, it must be <clears throat> experience of everybody that this happens so once you have found the nut bolts of the <laughs> physical world no interest at all why should i do it the average person thinks that once i get the powers i'll unleash them on the world i'll fix everything i'll fix the politicians i'll fix the stupid people who keep troubling me i'll fix you know my nagging mother or my nagging neighbors and i'll fix all the criminals and i'll give 1 crore rupees to everybody in the country and you see once you get the powers you realize how stupid that was there is nothing to do you want a bigger toy now now this thing has been revealed the uselessness meaninglessness of this world has been revealed now you don't want to stay here it is like the puppets we play on the screen what what do you call the games that we play on the pc there is a puppet which you can command and you play and you play and then you know everything about it you know how you can hack into it how how you can win the level by cheating and so on you know that is like powers are you going to play after that let's say the game wants you to go from one place to the another and defeat the enemies in between and that place is 10 kilometers away actually it will take you 3 hours to reach there if you walk in the game there are games like this very very tiring games they make you do all the donkey work you know they want you to kill everybody on the way they want you to open all the boxes and look inside the trees and so on to find the puzzles and it takes 3 hours to reach the destination it's just like reality the physical world let us say you discover a bug in the software you press a shortcut key on the keyboard and you reach the destination directly without killing anybody without finding anybody anything now are you going to play that play are you going to do the donkey work again you realize it is totally meaningless useless not even entertaining now the same way those who get powers never use it <laughs> they use them to either benefit somebody or to move on from this level i am not telling you a story this is our direct experience would you like to become a monkey and climb the trees again when you were a monkey it was a lot of fun to climb the trees and find the fruits and fight with other gangs of monkeys do you want to go back there on the trees in the jungle probably you want to watch them probably you want to feed them and if if the monkey is uh, some monkey is sick or uh, starving you want to help them that's all you want to use your human powers you know your powers are you have abundance of food the monkeys don't know how do you get all this food you know peanuts and cajus and fruits how do you get all these things for for them you are the god you are the tantric how come you appear there one day in a metal box and feed them there are many monkeys here and people you know keep coming and doing these things and taking photos with the monkeys i said why do, do that <laughs> because it's completely useless so same way you will never want to stay here you will never want to become the remain the human once you progress the problem is you get the powers only when you progress when your intention will manifest only when you progress and then this intention will be for something else which is worth having not for this thing so what do we do on the path of knowledge we cultivate that's all we evolve we let the evolution happen and how do we do that by not sliding back why is the evolution of everybody else so slow and uh, pitiable because they go 
forward two steps and then they come backward three steps then they get a guru and they go forward seven steps next lifetime they are back four steps this is how they are doing how is a seeker even if the seeker even if he finds one inch he takes that step never goes back and with the guru with the knowledge with awareness all the tools you know you have the basic knowledge essential knowledge as well as you have the knowledge of the illusion the science also you have so your progress is so fast it's very fast actually compared to some somebody who is ordinary it's a blinding fast people give, won't even see you it is so fast still we are unsatisfied why this is not happening today look it is happening as per the <laughs> as per the laws of the memory it's already very fast what do we want we want to enjoy this new status that we have as a seeker watch the scenery around you drink the coffee sit down in your lawn chair enjoy the sunset because the whole thing is progressing automatically so i know only this much yes you do your experiments and do not do anything extreme and benefit everybody start your own drama because it's all drama already you see isn't it your life is fake it is drama so why not arrange it now i'm talking in the relative way you know please do not say that look you said that nothing happens here uh, we are talking in the in level of illusion now where you are the individual yes you know i'm just reminding everybody else that sometimes i change the gears and you should not get confused now so at the level of the individual why not set up a fakeness why not why not set up a drama which is beneficial for everybody here you will enter the guru field they are nothing but total drama total fakes they don't do anything which is you know serious yes he said it's too colorful the more colorful it is the more you can say near the true nature of the guru field the more strange it is <laughs> you can say now you are at the core of the guru field nucleus of the guru field when the strangeness goes too much yes that is how they operate it is never a serious business the guru is never serious 90% of what guru says all lies all stories because the truth cannot be said isn't it the truth cannot be said are you lacking anything which the guru should do very seriously to get you back to make you brahman now because you have lost your brahmanhood no <laughs> you are the brahman so he enjoys there is infinite time and you should be like this when when i am missing some questions about rahul is saying during my practices when i attend to an object for long after a while it appears as if the object is looking itself and there is no seer as soon as this happens attention breaks and this person is back this is very normal uh, this is the technique you see the tratak technique what do you call it in sanskrit where there is forgetting by looking the your concentration is so much attention is so much that there is forgetting of this division of the experiencer and the experience that is what i call the experiencing it is not that the division does not happen the division is not made clear because for for a, for a while the mind feels no need of it that i am here and the object is there that uh, activity stopped or it is you know it diminishes it will never stop but is ignored and then the impression that we get is that i am that object there is no seer there is no seen there is only seeing this is the state of experiencing and this is called the sat samadhi now remember that even with the division it is the same there is only seeing there is only experiencing so even if your attention breaks and the division happens and the person is back the ego activity starts that look how stupid i am i'm looking at a ball or something you see for one hour i have looked at it <laughs> that activity begins but never lose the experiencing keep the experiencing with you that is your earning isn't it one hour long meditation what did you earn you earned this sweetness of not being a person you got this nectar of being the existence which you are but there is forgetting in the everyday your struggle of existence struggle for life you forget so if even if you do it for 5 minutes it is possible you know take any object merge with the object 5 minutes is enough and it is already happening when you sleep there is no object nirvikalp so just get the nectar and continue your 
illusory life there is no point in sitting there for hours like there are meditators who sit there for 8 hours what is the point you are you are that existence you are the experiencing itself existence means experiencing nothing else so even if there is division no need to worry the division is illusion